Okay, so this is what we're here for. Come here, look, this is story time. This is from the library. It says, story stroll. The smart pea and the princess to be. Brought to you by the Crestview Library. Okay, come on, let's go. We're gonna go on a stroll, okay? okay. Look for more stories, okay? Okay. Come on, let's go. I'm a big girl. You are a big girl. Look for more of those, okay? So we're gonna walk and we're gonna try to find more to the story, okay? Okay. Sounds good? Uh-huh. All right. Yeah. Okay, we're gonna walk. Look, squirrel. That is a squirrel. squirrel. You don't need my hand because you're a big girl? Uh-huh. Okay. Look, Look, do you see another part of the story? Where do you see it? Do you see one? I'm gonna see, I'm gonna see. Go see. <laughs> what does it say? The very smart pea and the princess to be. <gasps> wow, look at okay. Many years ago, I was born in the palace garden among rows of carrots and beets and cabbages. I nestled snugly in the velvety pod with my brothers and sisters, I felt a tingle. I knew that somehow I would be important. Wow. Let's keep going, come on. We gotta go find more of the story. Okay. This is fun. Another, another one? Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh oh. Leave him alone, okay? Okay. All right. Let's see what this story, this part of the story says. <laughs> The time came for us to go to the palace kitchen. We were shelled and put into a bowl. We were going to be part of a new recipe. Then suddenly I was picked from the pile. I was put into a little box with soft tissue to protect me from bruising. And I was taken by the queen. Wow. Look at, what are these? What are these called? Peas. Are those peas? Huh? Do you like peas? Huh? Yummy. Is that a pea too? Uh -huh. At this point in my story, like I'm going to have to give you some background information. Let's start with the queen. Look it. There's the queen, baby. That's the queen. Yeah. And that's a kitty cat. What's that one? That's a chicken. That's a chicken. Uh -huh. A year earlier, before I started to grow on my pea plant, the queen had been nagging her son. You are nearly 34 years old, Prince, he, she said. It really is high time you married. The public expects it. Your kingdom demands it. And if you are not married within one year, I shall stop your allowance. Uh-oh. We better go find out what else happens. Let's go find more of the story. Okay, I'm a big girl. Come on, big girl. I'm a big girl. You're a big girl. Let's go. Look, look. Hi, ducks. Hi, ducks. Hi, ducks. Let's go. Is your father got him? Huh? Is your father got him? Mommy's big. Yeah. Mr. Mo, here. Hi, ducks. Okay. Come on, baby. Let's go. I'm a big You're beautiful. You're big and strong. Mm -hmm. Let's go find more of the story. Mr. Mo, we're here. Come Where? On, Where? I see it. I see it. Okay. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go see. There it is. <laughs> oh, 
All right, it says, the prince got quite a large allowance and he really didn't want, to, want it to be taken away. I'll start looking for a bride immediately, mother, he answered. Is that the queen? That's the queen and that's the prince. That's the prince, that's the queen, that's the Peters. Wow. That one, that one, that one. Yeah. That one. Oh, there's more on the bottom. Let me see what it says. Let me see. The prince traveled the kingdom or the prince traveled the known world. He met princesses of all shapes and sizes with a wide range of hobbies and interests. It's in my father. Yeah. But none of them seemed like a real princess. Somehow they were not right for him. Uh-oh. We better go find more of the story. Okay. Let's go. This Come on. No, not, not that way. This way. This Come on. This we got to go find more of the story. My tummy hurts. Your tummy hurts? Uh-uh. No? <laughs> okay. <laughs> My tummy should take one. Yeah. Let's take one. Okay, come here. Go over here. <gasps> that one is in the story. Is there more to the story? Uh-huh. Look, is that another one? Uh-huh. Let's go over here to the story. Let's read this one. Oh, careful. After a year's search, the prince returned home feeling glum. That's enough, shouted the queen. She stormed off to the palace kitchen. She came back with me in my little box. Now she, she the queen, listened carefully. Wait, now said the queen, listen carefully. This is something only queens know. A real princess will be able to feel this little pea as she sleeps, even if she is sleeping on top of 20 mattresses and feather beds and you are going to marry the first girl who can fill this pea hold on let's finish this one months passed i spent most nights in the darkness under a pile of 20 mattresses and feather beds Yimsy, and Yimsy. princesses wow look the queen's angry huh uh -huh. yeah <laughs> come on let's go find another one Is that good water? Yeah. <laughs> what That's you... another story. Another part of the story? Uh -huh. Let's go see. Let's go see if it's running. Okay. We can have a drink. We can have a good day. Okay. Okay, let's go see the story. Mm -hmm. Let's see what it says. Come here. Let's read it. Okay. What do you see? Is that the angry queen? No. Let's see. In the morning, the queen would ask, And how did you sleep, my dear? The princess had been properly brought up. They always answered politely, like a log, thank you ma'am, or like a baby, thank you ma'am. And they all said, what? A comfortable bed. They were, as I said, all very polite princesses. Hi. The prince, <laughs> the prince will never find his princess at this rate. I thought to myself, I must help somehow. I see that. Yeah. It's raining. Yeah, it's raining, huh? Yeah, one night a furious storm raged. Rain lashed at the palace. Thunderclaps shook the walls. Lightning flashed through the window pans. There was a little knock on the palace door. A small wet person stood on the doormat. Could this be the real princess? gasped the queen. What do you think? Let's go find more of the story to find out. Come on, this way. Let's go. <laughs> it's pretty hot, huh? Uh -oh. My hair is hot. It's in the way. Mm -hmm, turn it. There you go. Come on. The clouds, the sky. Let's go find more of the story, baby. Okay. And let's do another story, baby. What's the bird doing? He's up there. You see him? Oh, there he goes. Bye, bird. Bye, bird. <laughs> Come on.
Come on, baby. Let's go find more of the story. Uh -huh. Do you see another one? Is it another part of the story? Uh -huh. Alright, yeah. let's go see what happens next. This is a lot of fun. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Let's see. Let's see. What is that? Look, what's that by his ear? Is that the pea? Uh -huh. Okay. Before she could say a word, the small wet person was put to bed on top of the 20 mattresses and feather beds. With me, of course, underneath, in the darkness under the mattress, I recognized the soft snoring. It was my gardener. I must help, I thought. I tried jiggling and wiggling. The snoring continued quietly. I must do something, I thought. I in my way to the edge and then I started to climb slowly I snuggled to the top of the towering pile I softly rolled across the pillow right to the Whoa, girl's ear that's tower. yeah there's something large and round and very uncomfortable in the bed under you I whispered and while she slept I told her about the large round uncomfortable thing for three hours uh oh in the morning, the queen asked the girl how she had slept. Oh, it was awful, she sighed. Something large and round and uncomfortable was bothering me all night. The queen was delighted to hear this. Uh-oh, do you think she's the one? Uh-huh. Yeah? Is she back up here? Let's go, let's keep looking for the rest of the story to find out. Let's keep looking. Big, big, big. You see it? Uh-huh, I see a big one. Well, we better go. We better go get it. Let's go read it. I wonder what's going to happen next. What do you think? Uh huh. We're going to read it over there and find out, huh? Uh huh. Yeah. Are you having lots of fun? Uh huh. Okay. Let's see what the next part of the story says. Wow, look, Presley. <gasps> Can you believe it? Wow. Let's see, it says, the wedding was lovely. The queen was interested to meet the new princess's parents, and I'm sure they will all live happily together, happily, <laughs> they will all live together happily ever after. And as for me, I became a very important artifact and I now have my own glass case I am on display and if you visit the right museum and look in the right place you may chance to see me don't open it don't open it that's the pee that's the pee in there can you believe it isn't that awesome uh -huh. yeah. yeah I do <laughs> the end was, so funny. was that a good story that's come here come here come here okay so we just finished walking around doing the story stroll. <laughs> it's really humid out here, so like. What? Come here, come here. <laughs> Was that fun? Can you come tell the people what we did? I tried the story I saw the what? Really? I was. So sorry if I misread a lot of the story. Like I said, it's really humid and trying to keep up with this one here. Ah! <laughs> trying to keep up with this one was kind of uh, difficult. Um, Christian had to go to a dentist appointment, which ended up lasting a little bit longer than we had intended it to be. And then he had a, ah, firstly, <laughs> and then he, sorry. Then he had to go to work to sign some papers and do some things um, to do a class um, starting in July. So we wanted to meet him here, but this ends at four. So we're actually gonna go and pick up, I believe a P and um, put our name in for a drawing, I believe, to win something that was crocheted and looks like a little pea pod type thing. It's really cute. So, um, I usually don't like to go places without him, but I managed and we got out here and I conquered my fears and 
He bought me um, this little handheld mace to come out here, but uh, I never really did that until okay. today, so. All right, okay. let's go, babe. Say bye, people. Bye, people. We've been walking around, doing our little stroll. Um, I do see one more sign, and I'm guessing it might say something about maybe going to pick up the pea pot to plant. What do you think? Uh-huh. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> she got tired, obviously, from walking, so now I'm holding her. Stroll's over for you? Uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> okay. This is the last story. That's the last one. Look, see? It says, thank you for taking the story stroll. Pick Hi. up your project at the gym office. So we gotta go pick it up now, now that we finished. Okay. Okay? Okay. All right, let's go. All right, so Mr. Brian, he's gonna go get your speed. Are you excited? Is it a good story? Yeah. Is it a good story? You read it all the time? They're going to do another one. They're hoping to have a total of four this summer. And I think the next one is around 4th of July. Are you guys going to come out to the fireworks? Say yes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah we're going to go see the fireworks. Huh? Look, look what he has for you. What, what do you say? What was the queen going to take from the prince if he did not get married? Do you remember the answer? Can you say his you allowance? Write... Oh, what was he going to take? Say allowance. His allowance? Okay. So, Mama, if you'll just write allowance, her name is... Hey, can you put this paper right there? Sure. Yes. Put yeah. it right in, in that little hole right there. There you go. Put it in. All right. Can you say thank you and bye-bye? Bye-bye. <laughs> Let's go, babe. Come on. Let's go. What did you get in that cup? Is it... You're going to plant this, okay? These are your peas, okay? Can you say thank you, library? Thank you, library. Okay, come on, let's go.